smoking hotness. Oh, bless. Uh, she came on my show, I don't know, it was a couple years ago, a year ago? A year ago. Uh, and we, we just, we fell in love. Like we almost made out on <laughs> national television. Um, we're even trying to do a little gig of our own. We may have some big news on that coming soon. Uh, but we love to travel together. We love to hang out together. Um, she has literally stretched her beautiful body across my kitchen counter. <laughs> Very hot. And I destroyed one of those robes, oh which I still God. feel guilty about. Red wine, like four kinds of salsa. She makes these beautiful meals, just, and I'm like, yeah, just <laughs> dripping, laying on the counter in this beautiful home, just like, it was oh. Awesome. The next day, I literally was like, I, uh, I gotta apologize about that robe. Just, <laughs> oh. just, just for fun. My husband and I, and John is the biggest, most hypochondriacal, like, germaphobe in the world, just for fun. We spent an entire bottle of shout trying to bring that robe back from the dead. I killed it, I killed you it. You did, yeah, you I killed did. it, in I a good did. way, it's in retired. a good way. So, big news for me, we'll talk about the show in a minute. Yeah. So, big news for me, you have a new bow. I do. I love this. I love that it's literally like this. We haven't had a chance to catch up recently, so she's using this as the opportunity, and you just all get to witness it, which is nice, which is nice. Yeah. His name is Brian. It is, yeah. Uh -huh. I just met him. Oh. Yeah. Kind of a lumberjack vibe going Very lumberjacky vibe, yeah. I'm Canadian, so I mean that is relevant. It feels, yeah. It's relevant to my interests. I'm yeah. an upstate mm -hmm. New Yorker, so you know we're yeah. like, we're yeah, here, we're, we're here, we're yep. here. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And what does he do? Well, uh, everything. Everything. Um, <laughs> he hosts a show called Mythbusters on the oh, Science cool. Channel. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mythbusters is pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. So he's yeah. pretty handy, I'd imagine. Pretty handy, I know. And I'm house hunting, and I'm like, that's gonna be real yeah, handy. You know what I mean? Yeah, we gotta, handy. we gotta make this work. It should yeah. be a DIY test, right? Like, <laughs> how good are you with tools? And then invite them over. And what a great relationship test, too. It's I like, know, let's right? do some renos and see what happens. <laughs> you know? <laughs> so it's season three of Superstore. We already got picked up for season four of yeah. Superstore. Yeah. Booyah! Yeah. Drop the mic. Drop it. Uh, it's just such a wildly watchable show, but I would never have been brave enough to take that job because of the outfit. Yeah. Yeah, Dina's outfit is not. Yeah. Like I said the last time I was here, uh, dressing sexy is not brave. Wearing right. those pants on national television, <laughs> that is brave. They are tailored. This is why I can't even tell you, they're the best of the worst. Those pants cost $600 a pair. Oh my God. I'm not kidding. I, they are paying $600 a pair to make me look that bad. Which I think is, that's Hollywood magic right there for you. That's amazing. How much money can we spend to make you look as bad, bad as possible? possible. Mm -hmm. Yep. So mm -hmm. can you not watch the show or clips? I'll say this, season one, it was a different pair of pants, and the, the back, they had pockets that they hadn't removed, and so it was just like a wrinkle butt, like a wall of wrinkle. Uh, and then season two, my only request, I met with the showrunner, and he's like, you wanted to talk? And I was like, yeah, yeah, show's great. The pants. We have to talk about the pants. Um, so they've gotten them to a place that's better, but really, I mean, that's like, that's like comparing shades of gray. I mean, it's not. It's easier not to watch. It's easier just not to, or I just try and watch like from the middle screen up, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> 